What is going on YouTube? I am TTG and today I'm back with another old card pack opening and today I've got some 1994 AFL Players Choice uh, trading cards. I bought a box of these off eBay uh, and I thought it would be cool to open some of these for you guys. And uh, these are the packs, and don't they just look beautiful? Um, the lovely kind of marble design on the packs. Like, look at that. You know, uh, they don't make them like this anymore, I guess, to use a cliched term. But, uh, yeah, I think these packs look really nice. Each pack does contain 12 cards. There are rare autograph cards in this set, uh, but I don't know if we'll be able to get one of those. Anyway, uh... <clears throat> I'm going to open 10 packs of these today, and I'll open some more in another video. Here are the 10 packs that I'm going to be opening today. As I said, beautiful packs. Uh, I guess let's get right into it. AFL Player's Choice 1994. And well, they are hard to open. What would you expect from such beautiful cards? Okay, here we go. Wow. I don't know a lot about the AFL. Uh, over in Australia, where I live, I'm more of an NOL person myself. But, uh, you know, uh, don't mind either code. I might just turn off that uh, that light there, just so we get a better focus on the card without the glare. We do have Damien, Mon Damien Moncast. <laughs> uh, I won't actually read out the names of every player because that would take oh, quite a while. But we do have a Nathan Chapman rookie card. I will uh, I will read out the rookies. Oh, we've got an Artoons card, number 121. These are beautiful cards, I do have to say. On the back, they've got stats. Wow, 1993 stats. Uh, yeah, kind of like a time capsule, this whole set. And you can pick yourself up some of these cards relatively cheaply. Uh, booster boxes do go for well under $100. Ooh, and we do get a printed signature card there of Gavin Brown. Uh, can't say I know or meant much about any of these players. And we do get a checklist card and a nice Legends card of Bernie Quinlan. Okay, so I'll put those to one side. Pack one is done. Very nice packs, very nice looking cards, beautiful cards. Uh, yeah, it's kind of sad that this set didn't really catch on, I guess. I'm, I'm, I'm just assuming that it didn't catch on because I'm pretty sure uh, Player's Choice or Dynamic only made a 1994 set. Um, but feel free to correct me in the comments if anyone knows anything different about these. As we do have an Artoons card, another one of them. And then back... Oh, there's the rookie card. Dustin Fletcher. Um... I'm not entirely sure, but I do believe that he went on to have quite a good career in the AFL. Uh, yeah, but I'll have to look into that. And all these these clubs, they all have, uh, like for example, this uh, this badge here, this uh, Footscray Bulldogs. This used to be the uh, uh, this used to be the Footscray Bulldogs, but I do know now that in the AFL that is now the Western Bulldogs. So uh, obviously, since 1994, there's going to be some Oh, <laughs> uh, a <laughs> bit more of a uh, <clears throat> an interesting one there with the Artoons card there, number 123, I think. Yeah, and back to some base cards. Very nice. So no Legends card in this pack. Um, yeah, the cards don't have a lot of complaints about the uh, kind of the thickness or the texture of the cards except for the fact that I always prefer cards that don't have squared borders so what I mean by that if you guys have like a Pokemon card at home it will have those nice rounded borders on the card and uh, basically it makes it easier to not get damaged so we do get a Legends Daryl Baldock card there and then back to the base cards that's the same Artoons card we just got in the last pack and the same rookie card, Dustin Fletcher. Huh. Doug Wade. That pack seemed very similar to the last pack I just got. Um, which is kind of weird. But, uh, you know, can't really complain when I, I didn't really pay a lot of money for this box. And uh, it is a very nice set. It is a very old set. 
I'm assuming it, it just must have been produced to death, you know what I mean? Like, they must have just made too much of this product uh, to be able to <clears throat> really, uh, to, able, to be able to drive the secondary market. So the value of the actual cards, once you pull them out of the packs, and that's a very low resolution image for uh, football cards on Michael McLean. And there is a Peter Peter Matera Dynamic Hot Picks Team MVP with a printed on signature. Very cool. Daryl Weldon. Wielden. Some more base. Oh, that's cool. An Artoons uh Kinahan. What's his name? Stephen Kinahan. And it's got a little blurb on the back. And then a uh, another printed on sticker and a rookies card, Matthew Richardson. I don't know if he ended up having a uh, illustrious an uh, illustrious career in the AFL or not. And we do start this pack off with another Artoons card, printed signature. That is something you do not see every day. Uh, what I mean by that is this Nathan Burke player is wearing headgear, which um, I'm pretty sure is kind of unco is very rare in the AFL. It's much more common in the NRL, where probably every, I don't know, maybe two or three players in every team wear headgear. Uh, but in the AFL, I don't think I've seen that very much at all. Another Daryl Baldock Legends card. And this dude again. Greg Anderson, he's popped up I think three times now, and the same kind of a somewhat inappropriate Artoons card. Back to some base, and that's kind of cool. Peter McKenna, I think that's a second Legends card in the same, yeah, in the same pack. Huh, that's pretty cool. Always nice to get two uh, nice looking insert cards in the same pack. We're just a bit over halfway through, possibly about, I think we're halfway through now, of these 10 packs that I'm going to open for today's video, but I will be opening at least another 10. David Neitz, rookies card. Dominator. So that is Dermot Brereton. Dermot Brereton. Uh, Artoons card, very cool. Another uh, MVP card with the printed on signature. Whoa, King Tony, Artoons card, and a Doug Wade legend. Very nice. So yeah, guys, please let me know if you are keen for me to do some more of this type of video, to opening some older card sets. Uh, I do enjoy it myself. I like to collect all different types of cards, old and new. And, uh, yeah, I did buy these off eBay. Again, not for a lot of money, but, yeah, still pretty cool. Get some enjoyment out of it. Alex uh, Jesselenko, Legends card. A Nathan Chapman rookies card, which I do already have, I know. Another Artoons card. Stephen McPherson. Oh, yeah, this is just the base. I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb and save it. As we do get another one of the uh, printed on signature cards, that this is a pretty small set. As we do get the checklist here, yeah, I reckon if that's all the cards, I, re I think, yeah, this is a reasonably small set, only about 130 cards, including all the inserts, um, which, which is okay. I, I personally prefer a smaller set because I like collecting full sets of of different uh, of the cards that I do open you know I like to have all the all the cards in the set um, you know it's a good feeling collecting everything in a given set another Burnley Quinlan same uh, Artoons card as we've got before and a Dustin Fletcher rookies card This is what you would consider my local team, I guess, uh, the Sydney Swans, um, and their logo has changed quite a bit over the years. 
It's quite a funny, uh, funny old logo they've got down there. Another printed on signature card. That is a nice looking signature from Anthony Rock. So on. Uh, not too many. Only the one Legends insert in that pack. So we're down, down to our final two packs here, guys. And I have really enjoyed opening these uh, these packs, even if it's just for the fact that the the cards, even the base cards, they just look really nice. They feel, you know, good quality. Uh, yeah, you, you know, it's always enjoyable, as we do get another printed on signature, uh, Dynamics MVP. Yeah, I, I enjoy opening cards, uh, artoons, that are, and the legends that look nice, you know, that feel nice, even if they're not from a, a sport that I particularly follow. Well, we've got all the inserts in this pack as we get a Mark Recruccio rookies card. And, uh, huh, that's something I don't think you see very much in the AFL as well. Simon Minton Connell, uh, that he's wearing the long sleeve uh, playing gear, which I don't think is very common. I think uh, most players do wear that short sleeve attire, attire in the AFL. So yeah, I've seen two things I don't think I've ever seen in the AFL before today. Long sleeve uh, playing gear and also headgear. And our final pack here, guys. We get another Mark Zanotti checklist card. Legends Bernie Quinlan for, I think, the third time. And just some more base here. Uh, Shane Crawford, rookie's card. Whoa! So, that artwork, obviously, that is um, imitating there is the, the Scream artwork. And I forget who it's by. That is very uh, popular, uh, common, renowned artwork. And that Carl Langdon, uh, Artoons card, 124 of 125. Very cool how the artist has done that. And we'll finish off with some base here, I think. And a signature card, Roger Mellet. There's the dude with the headgear, Nathan Burke. And finally, a Ross Lyon base card. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. It was a pleasure to make. Very cool to uh, see some of these older cards and uh, from the uh, 90s. The cards didn't even stick together. Very nice cards. I enjoyed making the video. Please subscribe if you enjoyed watching. Subscribe if you enjoyed watching it and leave a like. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.